I'm Pastor John from Millerville Community Church, and this is Evening Vespers. Tonight's meditation is taken from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 11, verses 12 to 24. The next day, as they were leaving Bethany, Jesus was hungry. Seeing in the distance a fig tree and leaf, he went out and find out if it had any fruit. When he reached it, he found nothing but leaves because it was not the season for figs. Then he said to the tree, may no one ever eat fruit from you again. And his disciples heard him say it. On reaching Jerusalem, Jesus entered the temple courts and began driving out those who were buying and selling there. He overturned the tables of the money changers and the benches of those selling doves, and he would not allow anyone to carry merchandise through the temple courts. And as he taught them, he said, Is it not written, My house will be called a house of prayer for all nations? But you, you have made it a den of thieves and robbers. The chief priests and teachers of the law heard this and began looking for a way to kill him. For they feared him, because the whole crowd was amazed at his teachings. When evening came, Jesus and his disciples went out of the city. In the morning, as they went along, they saw the fig tree withered from the roots. Peter remembered and said to Jesus, Rabbi, look, the fig tree you cursed has withered. Have faith in God. Jesus answered, Truly I tell you, if anyone says to this mountain, Go, throw yourself into the sea, and does not doubt in their hearts, but believes what they will say will happen, it will be done for them. Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you all have received it, and it will be yours. Here we've got one of those amazing passages, important events in the life of Jesus Christ that we could quickly get ourselves into trouble with and misunderstand what this is all about. We find Jesus expecting figs from a tree that is out of season and is not producing fruit. And he gets upset at it and he curses. He goes to the temple and he finds the teachers and so on conducting business in such a way as to net a profit for themselves and to make money off of God. He gets upset and says this is supposed to be a place of prayer and of faith and not of making money off of people. And so he has a day of cleansing the temple and shutting the whole thing down. And then people start planning to kill him because of those actions. In the evening, when they come back, they find the tree he cursed is dead from the root up. What is this all about? And then Jesus teaches them an amazing passage about faith, to ask and to believe in your heart, and it will happen. Well, we can take this out of context and misunderstand the meaning of what this is all about, but for now. Let's just look at it simply and cleanly and safely on the surface. This is primarily a lesson about faith. One is that we have faith in order to produce fruit for the glory of God, not for ourselves, not for somebody else, but for the glory of God. All that we do is meant for the glory of God, in season and out of season, that we produce fruit for the kingdom and for the glory of God. It's not about us. It's about God's kingdom and the expansion of that kingdom with the message of the gospel of Jesus Christ. When we make it about ourselves and so on, we don't produce the fruit that is pleasing to Jesus, and we can see what that means. But he also prunes and he cleanses, and he didn't destroy or curse the temple, which was God's house meant for prayer. But he starts cleaning it up, comparing it back, he wants to restore it, to bring the temple back to the house of prayer for the what? The glory of God, God's intent. 
And uh, then he teaches disciples about faith, to believe that things can happen. But this isn't simply in order to get what you want. If you believe in your heart that you're going to be famous, doesn't mean you are going to be famous. Just believing is not enough to pray. And then he says, if you pray with faith in Father God, and for his will to be done, then it will happen, and it will be done for you, not by you, through you, but for you. The Father will do it. So, in the end, it's all about our relationship with Father God, our faith in him, our trust in him, our understanding of who he is, and what he desires, and what he wants to accomplish. And that all comes down to the kingdom of God. He prunes, he corrects, he rebukes. He even curses. But in order to bring us back, to help us to understand, it's all about the kingdom of God. Are you part of that kingdom? Are you a child of God? I hope you are. If you are, and if you want to be more into that kingdom, I hope you'll pray with us tonight. Let us pray. Lord God, we thank you that your kingdom was established here on the earth by the work of our Lord Jesus Christ, who is the head of the church. We thank you for your rule and reign in our lives and in this world, for we would have long been lost. and We have, would have destroyed ourselves long before if it had not been for your presence and the work of your kingdom. We pray, O oh God, that you would bless us move mountains and you would help us and by pruning our lives and getting us focused to walk fully within the power and the authority of the kingdom of god we want your will to be done here on earth as it is in heaven your kingdom come and your glory lord to be in our midst with every miraculous event lord use us as agents of your kingdom and bringing it to this world. We pray this in your holy name. Amen. I'm so glad you're part of the kingdom and the child of God. And if you are seeking him, I know you can find him if you just keep looking. A good place to look is at Millerville Community Church. Check out our website, check out our YouTube account and Facebook lots of videos past vespers morning worship services coffee with pastor john many ways for you to get involved know about the word of god and to grow in it this has been pastor john from millerville community and church encouraging you as always to keep the faith and to share it too Escape the city. Come to God's country. Come to God's people. Come to God's Word. Welcome to Millerville Community Church. We're just a short drive away.